So I just wanted to do a quick video on our lion's mane cultivation experiment. Uh, this was started about two, maybe three months ago uh, in June using old mycelium from a kitchen countertop type of setup. So yeah, all it really is is some hardwood pellets in a milk crate. And the hardwood pellets, once you soak them, they just sort of like break apart into like sawdust kind of material, right? Um, it's in a milk crate and then with some, you know, logs, hardwood logs, kind of keeping it together, keeping it more contained. Um, and it's on this propagation table, which has this metal screen. So you can kind of see underneath, um, you can kind of see the milk crate and some of that hardwood pellet sawdust. Um, but yeah, we basically just mix the spawn into that and have been keeping it moist and as shaded as we can. Um, and it's working. There's lion's mane mushrooms popping up. And they look pretty good to me. Um, and I was sort of hoping it would sprout all around the sides, but then also underneath potentially. So I'll just keep an eye on that. Um, but it seems to be working well. Um, these look really good. And hopefully, um, you know, the mycelium is sort of spreading in all this material. And then I'll be able to take this material and sort of scale up this operation with, you know, larger hardwood logs and maybe more hardwood pellets. Um, just try to grow a lot more. Um, but winter is coming, so, you know, I'm not really sure. I don't really know what you're... What, I should do to like you know help them through the winter but I suspect you can kind of just leave it there and you know next spring they might sprout again so we'll see it's an experiment so far it's working hopefully we'll get tons of these high value delicious mushrooms These ones, uh, you know, people kind of say they, they, they taste a little like um, lobster or something, like a crab or seafood. Um, you know, they're just really good. So if we could propagate more of this, that would be great. We're actually propagating three different species of mushroom, edible mushrooms, um, in the forest garden. Uh, we also have wine cap, strafaria which are kind of just growing in, amongst, in and amongst the um, wood chips that we've spread around as mulch. So um, kind of in that in-between zone of cultivation and wild. And then we also have shiitake logs. We've got some hardwood logs inoculated with shiitakes that um, they're kind of reaching the end of their life. Um, so we're gonna have to try again. But overall, you know, I'm pretty excited we've got over a hundred species and varieties of edible plants and at least three, um, potentially four or five species of edible mushrooms. Cause we also have chicken of the woods that pops up and turkey tails, um, but we're not really, you know, cultivating intentionally. They're just sort of wild, but the lion's mane, wine caps, shiitakes those are all intentionally cultivated so yeah hope you enjoy uh i'll try and make some more videos sometime soon